Okay, today we're going to take a look at factoring out a greatest common factor that um, turns out to be a fraction. All right, kind of a really unique thing here. Um, however, if you do run across it, you really need to have a strategy for this. All right, so in this first example, I've got 2 fifths x squared minus 20x. All right, I need to take out greatest common factor. Looking at um, 2 fifths and 20, it might be a little difficult telling what the greatest common factor is. All right, so if you two, um, one step first, before you go to think about that, then it's going to help. All right, what my recommendation is here is going to be for you to rewrite those coefficients with common denominators. All right, once you get common denominators, then you can look at those fractions pretty easily and see what your greatest common factor is going to be. All right, so I've got you're rewriting those coefficients with common denominators. All right, so um, I've I'm going to choose the denominator that's already chosen in the fraction that I've given, so that one's going to stay the same. I'm going to have 2 fifths x squared. Okay, now I'm going to force this to go to a den common denominator of 5. All right, that x will stay there. All right, and so now I just have to ask myself, you know, what number divided by 5 is going to give me 20 so that I can get a common denominator there? It's going to be 100. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So these two things are equivalent. I've just gotten common denominators, and I use the denominator that was given in that first fraction. Now I can look at these two fractions. I've got two fifths here. I've got a hundred fifths here. All right, so now I can actually look at this and come up with, okay, what's the biggest GCF, greatest common factor that I can take out? Well, two fifths is going to be the biggest thing I can take out. I also do need to look at the letters. So I've got an x squared here and an x. I can take out an x as well. All right, so in this step here, then I'm actually ready for my GCF. And in this case, it's going to be a two fifths x. All right, so I'm going to pull that 2 fifths x out. All right, and set it up here for what's left over. Okay, so 2 fifths, take out 2 fifths. It's just, you know, that goes away. I've got x squared, take out an x. I am left with an x right there. Minus sign is going to come straight down. All right, I've got 100 fifths, and I'm taking out 2 fifths. All right, so dividing out in essence, I'm going to be left then with 50. x divided by x is not going to have anything there. Okay, all right, so final answer there, rewrite it a little bit better so it's cleaned up there. 2 fifths x times x minus 50. All right, on this next example, I've got a 3x to the 6th minus 1 fourth x to the 8th plus a 6x squared. All right, so I'm going to look at all these coefficients and I'm going to go, okay, I need to rewrite them with the common denominator. I'm going to choose 4 as my common denominator. So this will be something over 4, x to the 6th, minus this already has a denominator 4, so I just rewrite that term down again, and this will be something over 4, x to the 2nd. All right, now let's go back and figure out what those numerators are going to be. All right, what number divided by 4 is going to give me a 3? Well, I've got to do that. It's got to be a 12. All right, and then here, what number divided by 4 is going to give me that 6? It's going to have to be a 24. All right, so now I can start looking at for my greatest common factor. I've got a 12 fourths, I've got 1 fourth, and I've got 24 fourths. All right, so what's the biggest number that I can take out of those? Biggest number of fourths that I can take out of all of those? This one turns out that I can only take out a, a 1 fourth. So I'm taking out 1 fourth. All right, now i got to go back and look at those um, variables. Uh, the most variables that I can take out of any of them is going to be x to the second. Okay. Um, let's go to factoring it out now. I've got 12 fourths. I'm taking out uh, 1 fourth. So 12 fourths divided by 1 fourth. That's going to leave me with a 12. All right, you're kind of asking yourself 1 fourth times what number is going to give me 12 fourths. Well, 1 fourth times 12 will give you 12 fourths. X to the sixth, I'm taking out two of them. I will have an X to the fourth left. Uh, 1 fourth, divide out 1 fourth. That would give me the one coefficient, which I'm not going to write in there. X to the eighth, take out the X squared will leave me with an x to the sixth. All right, 24 fourths divide out 1 fourth. That'll just leave me with 24. And there again, if you need to check that, you can go back to multiplying. 1 fourth times 24 will give me that 24 fourths right there. And x squared, take out the x squared. I'm not going to have any x terms right there. So then I've got that as my final answer. All right, so just a little trick that if you end up with some fraction fractions that are coefficients in there and you're trying to take out the greatest common factor, okay, my suggestion is get common denominators so that all of the coefficients look like fractions and then it's easier to find your greatest common factor at that point.